Hello, Exchange family. Welcome to another Incredible Beauty Live. I am your host, Emily, and I am so excited, as every Beauty Live, um, to bring another incredible brand and person with you today. Um, so I wanted to welcome the uh, re regional Dolce & Gabbana ambassador. Uh, I'm so nervous, Kathleen. I'm so excited you're here. I'm over here stumbling on your words, <laughs> on my words. Oh my but gosh, don't even worry. <laughs> Kathleen with Dolce & Gabbana, you're here with us today. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm super, super excited to be with you today too. So I am really, really thrilled uh, because today we are going to talk about something very, very exciting, um, which is a brand new fragrance launch a moment that all beauty lovers and uh and fragrance lovers especially have been waiting for definitely that is so exciting and beauty tribe at home i am learning with you guys today too so i am even more excited because just like you guys i'm on the edge of my seat i'm not i'm learning about this amazing fragrance today as well. Um, and everyone watching at home, thank you so much for being with us today. Um, be sure to like this video, share it to your page so your friends can watch with you and you can have your own viewing party. If you have any questions for Kathleen um, or you want to rave about Dolce & Gabbana, please drop it in the comments and we will do our best to get to all of those. Um, so Kathleen, you've built it up. Now I'm, we're ready to go. I know we're all on pins and needles. So I know, what is I'm Dolce & Gabbana have for us? I'm keeping you I know, suspense, so right? much <laughs> suspense, yes. <laughs> okay, so I mean, listen, I said it up top. And for those of you who don't know, uh, Dolce & Gabbana, since launching Beauty over 30 years ago, is responsible for some of the most iconic, iconic, fragrances, not only to the brand, but in the industry. So when you think of fragrances such as light blue, uh, the one, I mean, the list goes on. And we are definitely continuing that trend because we are launching a brand new icon. You can see it here behind me. Um, and that is devotion. And not only is this going to be another icon for the brand, but it is definitely going to be an icon in the industry because not only is it a new fragrance but we're kicking off a brand new fragrance olfactive category so this is a never been smelled before uh fragrance category with the launch of devotion so i have to share the you know dolce and gabbana's beauty mission and that is to gift italian experiences to beauty lovers around the world. And we are doing that when you purchase anything Dolce & Gabbana Beauty. Um, and you'll see that from our ingredients to the inspiration. And we're going to talk about the inspiration today. But before we get into it, I have to ask you, Emily, tell me, do you have a fragrance from Dolce & Gabbana that you love or that comes to mind when we think of the brands? Light blue, 100% summer scent. That is all I wear during the summer is light blue. <laughs> Amazing. And I have to tell you, you may not know, there's a bottle of light blue sold every six seconds globally. It is an icon. So it makes total sense that you would feel that way. And that's the fragrance you would love. And that would come to mind. So love, love, love that. Okay. So my other question that I have to ask you is, do you wear fragrance based on your mood or do you wear fragrance to set the tone of your mood? I think it depends on the day, um, but usually it's based on my mood or I'm a little seasonal too. So I love the citrusy during the summer and I love the, the musk and um, patchouli. I don't think I said that right, but patchouli, I love yeah, yeah, that. right, patchouli, for ah, sure. Uh, uh, they say the that's fall. the oldest fragrance scent note is patchouli, so there you go. Really, love that. That's I love that. it. Yeah. Well, for for me, my fragrance sets my mood. I oh, I joked around on our last live stream that um, you know I don't maybe wake up feeling the way I want to feel. But I definitely um, feel that fragrance helps me get there. And so with devotion, the mood that we are going to be setting is very yummy, 
very addictive, very playful, um, but still very sensual. So we're going to get into the juice in a moment, but I want to share the amazing story behind this fragrance because it really does have a fabulous, fabulous story. And so this fragrance was actually created by master perfumer Olivier Cresp. And Olivier Cresp, for those of you who don't know, and Emily, this is going to be a fun fact for you, he created the original Light Blue. So he is a master perfumer. He is an icon, obviously, for us in the brand, but in the industry. And so he was invited to come to uh, Milan, to Italy. And in case you know you don't know, there actually is a Dolce & Gabbana restaurant in Milan, a martini restaurant. And the designer duo invited him there for a lunch. You know, this is their iconic light blue creator, right? It's been 22 years at this point since uh, he had created light blue. So they invite him for this lunch and they really show him a true Sicilian um, uh, welcome and the hospitality. And he is completely immersed in this lunch and all of the ingredients and all of the, uh, the beautiful delicacies that are coming to the table. And this lunch lasts for four hours. So at the end, because of the time of year, so it was actually December in Italy, they served him an iconic dessert. And an iconic holiday dessert or Christmas dessert in Italy is the panettone, which is known worldwide. But they didn't just serve him any panettone. They served him a Dolce & Gabbana panettone. And what's really, really um, unique about this is not only is it fashion meets pastry art, but it is also the flavors of the north and the south. So panettone originates in Milan, which is in the north. And we take a lot of inspiration, of course, in the brand from all of Italy, but in particular, Sicily, which is in the south. So you have this really, really unique recipe, which is the sweet bread of the north with ingredients from Sicily in the south. So you get this really, really unique approach. Well, he loved this dessert. And this is the inspiration for devotion is that Panettone. So I have to share that story because hopefully anyone watching who has a bottle near them um, can take an opportunity to uh, spray it, smell it, and hopefully you'll get all of those emotions and that description of the Panettone that I talked about when you smell this fragrance because it really is that juice or is a true representation of that Panettone. So super excited. So for anyone that is watching that happens to have the fragrance near them and you want to learn more about it and experience it together, we're going to do that right now. So if you have it handy, feel free to spray it and I'm going to spray it too and experience it. And then we're going to talk about the bottle because, you know, this bottle is gorgeous. So when you first spray the fragrance, you're going to really feel a brightness that comes through. And that is thanks to the top note of uh, candied citrus. And so we, when we say candied citrus, particularly candied lemon, orange, Italian bergamot, and you get this really bright opening. So when I mentioned earlier that this was, we were creating a new olfactive category, that is thanks to this brightness you get in the beginning because this is the first ever bright gourmand fragrance so that bright comes from that candied citrus that you're smelling right when you spray in the top note the top note really is your first impression of the fragrance then our heart starts to melt into this really really beautiful orange blossom so it's a soft floral it's feminine it's a little bit fruity and sweet and that is what our heart of the fragrance is and then we land on our base, which is very addictive, and it is very, very um, well-loved, and that is vanilla. Who doesn't love the smell of vanilla? But we don't just use any vanilla in this fragrance. We use Madagascar vanilla, and Madagascar vanilla is the most precious, um, luxurious vanilla that you can get. It ha it's obviously a spice. It has a, a warmth to it. It's very long-lasting. And we really are um, getting the notes of the vanilla pod, really. That's the that's what it's meant to smell like. So are, do those ingredients, Emily, sound like ingredients that you would love in a fragrance? Not even in just a Absolutely. dessert? Absolutely. 
I know it sounds delicious, but it also sounds like something that I would enjoy smelling like for sure. <laughs> exactly. So what's really beautiful about this fragrance. So obviously, you know, it's a gourmand, it's a bright gourmand, um, but it's not just about the vanilla. There's a lot of other complexities in the fragrance. So for example, we have a signature accord of rum in this fragrance. And some people really smell that come through when they smell it. So think of what rum smells like. It's sort of warm, a little ambery, the molasses tinge, right, to the note. We also have musk in this fragrance. And so musk, I find really rounds the fragrance out, but I love to describe musk as your skin, but better. It's very sensual on the skin and it really, really leaves this beautiful finish. And then we have um, Ambrox. Ambrox, uh, I would describe it as sort of like amber meets um, meets musky with a bit of like a woody tone to it. It's very sparkling on the skin. What's really great about Ambrox is it's very diffusive. So it really sort of like morphs and changes as you wear it. But what's nice about it is that it really smells different on everybody. And you may not even pick it up when you first smell it, but it really starts to wear uh, beautifully on the skin. And it's going to give a lot of longevity to this fragrance. So I'm, you know, I'm really happy to share all of the notes with you in this fragrance because it really is so unique and there's really nothing like it. And it's going to smell so um, different on everybody. And I promise you, this is going to be a scent that people ask you what you are wearing. They're going to stop you and say, what do you have on? My husband actually never notices anything that I really have on. And the moment I sprayed this fragrance, that first thing he asked me is, what did you just spray? What are you wearing? You smell amazing. So that's <laughs> the effect we're giving off with this, uh, with this fragrance. I love that. That's a good effect too. That's that is always the effect been we want. Yes. Yeah. Totally. And compliments from strangers, I feel like are the best too. When you're walking somewhere and someone's like, oh, what do you have on? Best compliments. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, um, the other thing that's really, really important is going to be the packaging. Now I'm a sucker for packaging. I don't know if you feel the same way, but I am, the packaging is the first thing that I am, uh, I'm drawn to. So of course it comes in this absolutely gorgeous box, um, which we'll talk about in a moment, but let's get into the bottle. So adorned on this bottle, you'll see here the devotion heart. And I want to talk to you a little bit about the inspiration um, and how this sort of heart came to be. So this heart is actually inspired by the Sacra Core, which is the Sacred Heart. And remember, I said that the designers take inspiration from Italy all around them. And this definitely is a symbol uh, of that inspiration. And so the Sacred Heart, obviously, it's rooted in, you know, religious symbolism. But when we take a step back and look at it, what does it mean? Well, it means love. It means dedication. It means passion, it means um, generosity and gratitude. And the Sacra Core is actually a symbol of devotion. So we see the correlation right with the name. And for the duo, it really represents their profound dedication to their brand, which, you know, they've, de they've dedicated their whole lives to and the pursuit of perfection in every detail. We saw the Devotion Heart actually premiere in the fall uh, 2018 runway when an It bag was uh, opened the show, it premiered and opened the show via drone on the runway. And it was this really amazing, iconic, show-stopping moment. So we saw it come in, uh, in the Devotion handbag. It then became really one of our most popular collections. And now we are so thrilled to see it in the first co-designed beauty product, which is the Devotion Eau de Parfum. And with this particular uh, fragrance, it is proudly worn on this minimalistic bottle with uh, this beautiful juice. You can sort of see here this ambery color. Um, the bottle itself is you know a beautiful luxurious heavy weighted glass you have this gorgeous heart that uh that is uh, adorned on the front and then we also see the heart on this beautiful packaging and we see it here with the uh with the metallic embossing so truly it is an experience from beginning to end with devotion 
So I hope that you feel sold on it, Emily. I hope that you're excited to try it. I am. So I'm debating if I want to run to my nearest local exchange um, to pick it up or if I want to order it online. Um, both are great options for our beauty tribe out there too, uh, picking it up in store, um, but online and we'll have it to your door. Free shipping over $50. But if you have a military star card, it's free shipping um, regardless of the amount. So um, I'm, that's, that's my biggest conflict right now is do I go to the well, store or do I just order it? it? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I exactly. On it, right? Absolutely. Right. And I have to tell you what's really great about this fragrance is oftentimes when we have fragrances that lean sort of like, you know, warm with the vanilla notes, right? The ambery notes, we associate them with this time of year, right? Depending where you're living, I'm, the leaves are turning, the weather's getting a little bit cooler. We associate it with fall, but because this opens with that brightness and it's that first ever bright gourmand uh, fragrance with that citrus in it, you're going to find that you're able to wear this fragrance all year round. It's going to feel authentic um, and it's going to be a go-to for you to go to in, in the summer, just as it is, you know, in the fall and in through the holidays. But speaking of holiday, I think this is such a good gift to put on the list, whether you're buying for someone else or you like to treat yourself and buy for yourself. I'm one of those shoppers that, you know, I always have to buy for me because what if nobody knows that I want this, right? Um, this is definitely a fragrance that needs to end up somewhere in the holiday season, in someone's bag, under a tree, in a stocking, however you love to give gifts. This is definitely one that I promise you, I have not met one person who does not smell this fragrance and is not instantly obsessed with it. I love that. And then if that's not enough for you to purchase it, I mean, I think it's, I don't know what else uh, there <laughs> is besides that amazing smell and amazing price um, that's exclusive to the exchange. Um, and so it's excellent. And there's nothing wrong with buying one for yourself. You deserve to treat yourself every once in a while. You do yeah. deserve to treat yourself. And remember when you buy a Dolce & Gabbana fragrance, you are getting the same level of quality if you were to buy something from the boutique, if you were to walk in and buy a devotion handbag, it really is that same element of quality and attention to detail, which is why, you know, it makes it such a beautiful, beautiful treat, um, not only for someone else, but definitely for yourself. So we have lots of fragrances within the Dolce & Gabbana uh, portfolio in the stores. So, you know, there's lots to choose from and your signature scent is definitely waiting for you. Um, I can't wait to hear everybody's feedback, how they're loving it, how they're feeling about it, because like I said, it's just been such a positive, positive reaction all around. So you have to go and try it and get your bottle today because I'm so excited for everyone to fall in love with it the way that I have. Yes. And um, if you are shopping in your local exchange, we have beauty advisors standing by where the product is um, sold in select stores that are ready to help you find your signature scent, tell you um, more about it, just like Kathleen did. Um, and we have so many stores right now tuning in. Um, we have Davis Monthan Air Force. Uh, we have Fort Moore, Fort Cavazos, Eglin Air Force Base, Barksdale, Lackland. Lackland actually has. Um, some customers shopping right now, they say in the comments that are very Ooh. interested in this scent. So make sure you grab um, your bottle, Lackland customers. So we love that. We also have Diane from New York, Julie from Florida. Um, we just have so much, so many people viewing today and it means so much. And I wanted to share a little bit of love and a, and a question we got, Kathleen. Yes. Um, so Lottie says that devotion is her favorite. Um, Already, and, I love it. Yes, love that too. I mean, it just the history of it is just incredible. And um, Liz and Kara both think the bottle is absolutely beautiful. Oh. Um, it is. And I've shared this on Beauty Lives before. So Beauty Tribe, if you've been part of our lives before, you know that I have told you you have to earn space to be on my bathroom counter. I like my bathroom <laughs> counter. Very clean, very minimal, nothing on it. But there are a couple bottles that have made it to my bathroom counter. And that would be one of them. A hundred percent. You want to show that. You want to display it. It's beautiful. Um, Brenda, 
absolutely loves the smell. And Michelle says that she loves, loves, loves devotion and that it smells amazing. Um, and we can't wait for other (laughs) and we can't wait for other people to smell it as well. Um, we did have a question from Jolie. So Jolie is asking, how can she make her fragrance last longer on her skin? Okay. So I'm so happy that this question was asked. I shared a few tips and tricks last time and I didn't want to be redundant, but now I'm so happy that someone asked because it gives me an excuse to talk about it. So thank you for asking that question. So there are a few things that you definitely can do. So number one is if you tend to be on the drier side, especially, but anyone can benefit from this uh, trick is moisturize your skin first, right out of the shower Think of sort of how in beauty we have the, you know, in makeup and skincare, sort of like the damp sponge versus the wet sponge, right? And the absorption um, and how things sort of sit on the skin. It's it's sort of that same concept here. So if you moisturize your skin first, it really helps the skin uh, be better prepared so that the fragrance is going to lay um, much better on the skin and it's going to sort of stay longer on the skin. The other thing is you want to, when you spray your fragrance, we never want to rub, okay? You can dab so that you can sort of melt the fragrance in with your natural oils, but no rubbing that can sort of, you know, bruise the notes. Um, There's a, there's, a level of a a lot of development, right. That happens with, with fragrance on, on the skin. So that just gives it an opportunity to develop a little bit better. And you're not sort of bruising those notes and then make sure that you apply on your pulse points. So your pulse points would be, of course, we know the inner wrists, right. Um, behind the ear lobes and even like around the neck area, even, um, under the belly button or around the belly button. And the reason that we have, um, we recommend that you use the pulse points is because these are naturally areas of the body that diffuse heat. And so because they diffuse um, heat and they're they're warmer, right, and that's also your pulse, right, where your pulses are, um, it tends to sort of diffuse the fragrance a little bit better um, and you get a really beautiful wear. But I will tell you with devotion, because it is an eau de parfum, um, Yes, but also just with all of the notes and ingredients that are in there, I personally find that this is a fragrance that I, if I'm, you know, I'm wearing this shirt today and I have this fragrance on, if I were to go and grab this shirt two days later, I would smell devotion on it. You're going to smell it on your sweater and you're going to say, oh my gosh, what smells so good? And it will be you. The answer is you. You are the thing that smells so good. Um, I even have people that are spraying this on their like blankets and pillows because they just love it so much. Um, So truly, truly, it's going to be a fragrance that gives you a lot of longevity. It really, really um, wears beautifully, definitely. So I hope those, uh, those tips and tricks helped out there. It absolutely did. And I love to hear that. And, um, I love to hear that it lasts long and I am a very big, uh, certain smells comfort me. So Mm -hmm. knowing that I can spray that on my blanket and it relaxes me and it'll stay on my blanket is pretty, is pretty great. Right. Isn't that great? And also too, it's okay if when you spray it on yourself, if in a couple of hours, it's not smelling as like strong to you but other people can smell it. It has to sort of do with like how your olfactive um, palate sort of starts to recognize the scent, right? So you may not smell, you know, you sort of start to like not smell it as much on yourself, but other people, rest assured, can still smell it. And they actually say that if you can't smell a fragrance sort of boldly on yourself after you've been wearing it for a while, it means that it's really um, made for you and sort of like morphed with you, if you will. So that's what I was told. And I love that concept because, you know, I want to, of course, I'll tell all of you that I'm wearing devotion, but next time my husband asks, I'm just gonna say, no, I just smell this amazing naturally. I, I don't know how you never noticed. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I love that. Exactly. It's your scent. And yes. Jennifer um, just got in the comments and I just noticed this too. She noticed your heart so it goes with the theme of the day and she just loves that. And I love that too. That's awesome. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, with devotion, it really is all sort of all about heart above all. Right. And, and it really is that beautiful, uh, that beautiful story. And, uh, you know, the devotion heart after being, you know, a part of the handbag, that handbag that launched, we saw it 
you know, in accessories, which you'll see here, we've seen it, you know, shoes, and now on this beautiful bottle. So it's, it's, everyone can have a piece of devotion in their life. Love that. That is incredible. And um, Kathleen, thank you so much for joining us thank today in the world that you're spending time with us. You're sharing your knowledge and all things exciting from Dolce & Gabbana. My pleasure. It's been such yes. a treat as usual. I had such a great time the last time. I've had an equally great time uh, today. I cannot wait um, to hear everyone's story about falling in love with devotion. And, you know, like I said, your signature scent moment starts right now. We're making history with this first ever bright uh, citrus gourmand with this bright gourmand. Um, so, you know, we're all in it together right now. We're watching, you know, an icon be born. So I'm so, so excited. And I can't wait till next time, Emily. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. And yes, and Beauty Tribe knows in the world of Beauty Live, there are no goodbyes. It's always see you later. So we yes. will definitely see you soon. Um, Beauty Tribe, thank you so much. I know I say it every show, but you guys could be anywhere on a Wednesday around, I'm on Central Time. So it's lunch time here. You guys could be doing anything with your time and you've chosen to spend it with us. And that means the world to us. So we thank you so much. Make sure to pick up your bottle of devotion at your local exchange or online. Um, and we will see you back here on Friday. Thank you. Bye. Bye everyone.